Hello, in this problem we're going to draw a ISO cost line and then think about the marginal rate of technical substitution. Okay, so I've been given this uh, firm uh, unit of labor is $100 a day, unit of cost of capital is $400 a day, so that's the ratio. Um, so an ISO cost line shows what is the ability by the firm to spend on either labor or capital? And so usually some combination of both is going to be more efficient than just doing capital or just doing labor. Okay. Um, so what we want to do if we're going to do this in paint is just rather simply get this so I can see both things here. So we're just going to take. Going to take a line here, just draw a y-axis here, and the problem doesn't tell you which which they want you to use, uh, capital or labor. By the way, capital good is something we use to make other goods, so like machinery, like my computer, or you know any any uh, any other tool that we use. And um, so, if we have two thousand dollars a day, and we want to spend it all on capital. Traditionally, capital is going to be uses a K. Okay? So if we just spent uh, this $2,000 on capital, then, then we could get five units of capital. So we're going to go to five. So you can just, depending on how picky you want, if you want to use graph paper or whatever, you can go one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just going to put five right here. Okay, so that, there's a point there. Uh, and Now, if we want to um, just use labor, we're going to come over here. Usually, capital L will be labor units. So it would be 20 units of labor right here. Now, it's also possible to use uh, four units of capital. And if I use four units of capital, that would be 1,600 uh, units or sorry, 16 uh, units of, or sorry, 1600, I was right with 1600, $1,600 on capital, it was me $400 on labor, so then I could get four labor units. So there would be a point like right here. And let's say I did 16 labor units, that would leave me with $400 left, so that would be one unit of capital that I could then so we're just gonna we're just gonna there's a linear line here right here and this is the ISO cost line that they want okay and so label the axes we did that L and K okay if the firm is producing efficiently so what we have to know what that means and what that means is that the ratio of the uh, the change in um, one product is going to equal the their change in the other product, right? And what product I mean uh, the additional amount we get from one using one type of resource whether labor or capital. Okay, so marginal rate of technical substitution uh, here it has to be if it's efficient it has to be the same ratio of um, wages to R, which is the, the price of capital, right? So this really has to be uh, the capital, or really, and this is going to be negative because it's a, it's a downward sloping line. So it's going to be um, negative 100 over 400, which is the same as saying negative 1 fourth or negative 0.25 okay so that has to be that is the rate of technical substitution there um, so we would put that line anywhere tangent to one of these points here so it doesn't really matter uh, where you put it but you just have to put it somewhere so it's like a blue line We'll call it that. We'll say that's because labor is cheaper. 
And so this, uh, this here would be the uh, isoquant curve, which is the amount of quantity that I get from, from either one. So we'll say that that's tangent right there. As long as you put a tangent somewhere, because we, we the thing that we don't know, we don't know the production function, so we don't know how much additional uh, output for from capital or labor we get from each one. But we do know that it has to equal this in order to be uh, efficient. Okay.